Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? <laughs> How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Stud Circle who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, ah, never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> <laughs>
Horses sing none of it. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest today is Elm Treason, which is Bobby Steele playing some mighty fine guitar picking. Thank you. <laughs> and Andy Roman sang a real, real nice song. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ralph. So tell us about that song. Uh, Days of Reaction was originally written. Believe it or not, it was originally written as a political song, and it was written to sort of comment on how people just react. Just when they hear something, they don't think. They just, it doesn't matter what side of the political aisle it is, they just react. And that's originally how it was rewritten. And then, you know, after a while, it was just getting too heavy. It was like, we don't really want to do that. <laughs> so it turned into a song about people who hung out at this place in Queens called Madison Park. And we would sit down, you know, on a Saturday afternoon and just kind of play guitars for hours and all these people would gather around and sometimes there'd be pretty girls and things. And the people in the song were actually people who were in the group. So I was the music man and there was a pretty girl with the long black hair and there was Be Good Johnny, which the guy who used to sit right on the cross leg on the pavement, dressed like Elvis. That's so we just kind of made up a little thing. And that's really what it was. But the song was never really completed. It was one of my old throwaway songs. And when Elm Treason was formed, you know, Bobby heard it and just basically said, uh, yeah, we're going to do this one and let's work on it and make it good. You know, that's kind of what it was. It was catchy. Oh, well, good. But <laughs> the thing is, on the, 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 uh, one of the recordings we did where it's electric, Bobby actually plays a crybaby pedal. And we were actually in the studio working on that song. And we just, something just kind of came over us where we said, hey, why don't we, you, wouldn't a crybaby pedal sound really good here? You know, just, and then for the next 10 minutes, every song we were working on needed a crybaby pedal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how about that song? Oh, crybaby pedal would be great on this song, wouldn't it? Uh, what about that ballad? You know, yeah, it's really well, got a nice acoustic. You know, how about a you know, crybaby piano? We'll use it for every, And then we didn't think about it for like, what was it? Like, we didn't think about it for like yeah, a month. For like, yeah, at least a month. And then one day, we usually recorded or worked on Sundays, weekends, and one Wednesday, I just got a call. He's, an, he's like an hour late. <laughs> and he says, I'm at blah, blah, blah music store. I just bought a crybaby pedal. <laughs> Where did you get the, what? I'll be there in 10 minutes. And I just came over, we plugged it in. That session, we had like an hour and 10 minutes left before the session was over because we each had something to do. We recorded it like that. That's, that's one of those great memories of that song. Yeah. Great. Thank what you. else would you like to do for us? Uh, a song called Still Around. Still Around? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do a song. Capo time. <laughs> Are we in tune, Bobby? Mm -hmm. Okay, still around. Go for it. Mm -hmm. One and one and a closet friend. The smoke has broken for the window's edge. The sun is up and the shades are down. It's kind of like you were still around. Like you were still around. The paws of sleepy winds are here. A paddle wind is fencing clear. A look alive. 
light up the choking crowd. It's kind of like you were still around. And if I kind of cried, it had to be. Whether it was mine or try, it had to be. If I kind of cried, it had to be. Whether it was mine or try, it had to be, had to be, had to be, had to be. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really Thank strong. You. Thank you. Thank you. Still around. Excellent. Still around. On the record on that one, or the recording that we're working on, Bobby uses an Ebo. And you know what an Ebo is? I didn't know. And I've been playing guitar a long time. It's, what is an Ebo? How would you describe um, it? it? Well, it, it's, it works kind of like a, like a magnet that, that uh, feeds off of the pickups on the guitar. It almost creates like a, a feedback type of sound. And it's supposed to emulate the sound of one bowing a violin, and uh, it was it was a real pain in the neck trying to get the right sound and the right sustain. It took me a very long time just to hold it in the right place and to move my fingers around. And we actually did about two, uh, three tracks where I was playing um, these harmonies going in contrary motion, oblique motion, similar similar motion, and just all over the place and. And the funny thing was is that we minutes. thought, I think, we thought that we were going to use the Ebo as kind of like a nice yeah. background, you know, like it was going to be yeah. like a string kind of thing. And then we we're going to go and go and what you're supposed to do when you play right. guitar and put a real guitar solo over it. And Bobby's doing his Ebo thing. It's taking a while, but he's getting it. And it just sounds like this really cool electric violin almost. Yeah. And then, then it's like, okay, we got that done. What do you say we record the guitar solo now. And then I'm listening to this and I'm saying, Bobby, that's the solo. Yeah. And he's like, what? I said, no, that's the solo, man. You know, it just sounded so good and so different. You know, but obviously when we do it acoustically, like we do it here, we have to come up with a solo. And of uh, course, Mr. Steele just the... tears it up. So, you know, Bobby yes, Steele. Yes, he does. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, I think we should take it down a little bit and do a song called Mood. It's kind of mellow and it's uh, here's cable. For yeah, maybe we don't need that again. <laughs> so this song is called Mood and with Bobby's string tuned down, we good? It's kind of mellow and it's sweet and it's emotional and yeah. So let's just do that.
Like a whisper falling hard, I've never gotten far. If you do, you'll find me in the sun, learning how to run. I sense a little change in how we play. Don't stay inside and think of when. The pride that keeps me free will get the best of me. Maybe you can look in the book and it happens now and then. I sense a little change has come my way. When the pain comes silently, I'll say that you are based in Staten Island? Yes. Do I have that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he lives on the north shore and I'm from the south shore of Staten Island. So it's... Uh, Got the whole island covered. Uh, well, we yeah. hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we meet in the middle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the high road we meet in the middle, yeah. 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 We actually, um, most of the stuff I guess is done, you know, re rehearsals and stuff, I guess at my house, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. um, only because I have the... Uh, the room, you yeah, know. He's got the equipment and the Yeah, so we do all that stuff there. But uh yeah. And uh originally from Brooklyn and always from Staten Island. Mm -hmm. So but 
you know, it's like that New York City thing going on. But uh, the funny thing is, is that whenever we go somewhere, Bobby's accent is still intact. But because I do voice stuff for a living, I had to learn how to, you know, not talk so much like I used to, you know, like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I pick up the guitar, I play, you know, what am I going to do? Play some, I play some blues, I play a little country, whatever it is, you know, so. Um, but, uh, but he still he still uses it when he needs it. Yeah, when I'm angry, yeah, you know, something like that. Yeah, it comes <laughs> out. <laughs> Solo ain't working, what happened here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, so a uh, little New York-based uh, duo. And for more information, people can go to elmtreason.com. Sure, mm -hmm. they can go to elmtreason.com, yeah. It's sort of the gateway to Elm Treason online. So, yeah, elmtreason.com. Mm -hmm. And that's one word spelled just like it sounds, Elm Treason, E-L-M-T-R-E-A-S-O-N. -E so there you go. And, and by the way, just so Bobby and always are asked, Elm Treason, it's, it's not... You know, sedition. Uh, it or, is, it's, or a, it's an anagram of both of our last names. That's it. Roman and steel. It's just yeah, an it's anagram. Not sedition or, uh, or anarchy. Or anarchists. Or and what a <laughs> what? <laughs> Bob had a Sorry whole to the anarchists out like there. You know, we don't mean to. Uh, we love you. We're just nuts. <laughs> we do. We love you. One of the cameramen just said, I'm done. He walked out. <laughs> <laughs> Darn hey, it. Come back. <laughs> All right, anarchy. Fine. Okay. <laughs> He actually had a whole list of anagrams, and some of them were really cool. Yeah, you know, some of them were pretty inspiring. But uh, yeah. that's all it is, really. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Uh, so uh, we, shall we do another Elm Treason song? Yeah, what do you want to do? Andy, Andy that's it. <laughs> all right, let's... Um, you want to do uh, either Honey... You want to do Honey Feet? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Okay, so we're going to do a song called Honey Feet, but we switch guitars for Honey Feet. Okay. Oh. I'm going high tech. All right, all right, all right, all right. I know, I... I <laughs> <laughs> audience knows all right so we're gonna do a song called honey feet and this one actually features the amazing the great bobby Steele on lead vocal <laughs>
Thank you.